Hey, YouTube family, Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your Auntie of Pop Culture. And today was busy, 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 busy. And that's why we're coming to you late. Um, when does my happy hour start? Today has just been like so incredibly busy, but we had a lot of stuff to do. First, I want to shout out Uncle Charlie and his beautiful wife. Uh, they did a show here in Philadelphia. His wife said to me, you know, YouTube channel. And I said, yeah, <laughs> I said, my real job is radio. But, you know, I said, I got this little YouTube thing going on. And I love the rapport with everyone who like joins me. But I said, yeah, but I said, the real job is the radio job. We're going to start off with sad news to report actress Anne Heche. She has succumbed to her injuries. The horrific car crash at the beginning of the week. And a lot of people thought, mm, She's not going to make it. Then the news got worse. Um, plowed into a home, hit several other cars. The home was destroyed. They found substances in her body. For many years, it just seemed like Anne Hayes, there was a there was a troublesome to her life. She was a mother. There was a big fallout when she dated Ellen DeGeneres. She had a troubled childhood, but it was always like something else. She was last on Dancing with the Stars, but there's a movie coming out that she was in. She had a career. She brought a light. But unfortunately, there were some problems there, and she has succumbed to her injuries. So sad to hear this news. They say that Ellen has sent, you know, love and condolences to the family. Um, she released a statement yesterday saying, you, you don't want to see anybody hurt. I don't care if, you know, you used to date them or anything like that. But Anne Heche, the actress, dead at the age of 53. Big congratulations to singer Lizzo. Lizzo may be public about them clothes, but she's very private about her personal life. And Lizzo, you should keep it that way. She, They say she's engaged to a man that she grew up with in Detroit, an actor, a comedian, a writer named Mike Wright. Well, Ashanti speaking. Irv Gotti has been running his mouth all week, and they say Ashanti thinks he's pathetic. She said she was 21 years old. He was older than her. She says it was a short fling and that he's just clout chasing. He's clout chasing, and he wants people to watch that BET Murder, Inc. show on BET. Now, it was funny when she said short fling because she said it, it was it was nothing. Was it like when Janet Jackson had the little fling with Bobby Brown that she never mentions it, that she mentions everything else, but she never mentions Bobby? Meanwhile, Bobby just talking, talking, talking. Short fling as in they're short and then there's short. Was that kind of short fling? But Ashanti is not happy that he's running his mouth and wait, Ja Rule is saying he's not happy with the way that Irv Gotti was speaking of her. 72 hours later, okay, we're going to take it. We're going to take it, Ja Rule, because we was looking at you with the side eye. Before I get to this story, I, I just want to run down what's happening this weekend. There's Day Shift, Netflix. Jamie Foxx, Snoop Dogg, they play Vampire Killers. It's streaming now. A League of Their Own. There's a new version on Prime Video. Uh, it's based on the 1992 movie A League of Their Own that Penny Marshall directed. It had Gina Davis, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell, Tom Hanks screaming, there's no crying in baseball. Uh, set in the either 30 or 40s, I believe it was the 40s, female baseball team. This version stars Shante Adams. A lot of you may notice her or say, that's the girl from A Journal for Jordan with Michael B. Jordan or Roxanne Shante. She was Roxanne Shante in the Netflix movie, but she is starring in the reboot, which is now streaming on Prime. P. Valley, season finale. Please don't make us wait so long because we kind of, you know, we kind of fell for Uncle Clifford and Lil Murder. Please don't make us wait. We had to wait a long time, so please don't make us wait for season three. Uh, season two of Raising Canaan. My girl, Katrina Miller, is back, and a new season, season two, is starting this weekend. 
Strange story coming out from R. Kelly. Jocelyn Savage, the young girl who is still with him. She's 26 years old. She's just written a book. It's 11 pages long. I want y'all to listen to everything I'm saying. It's 11 pages long. It's on Amazon. She's saying she's pregnant. Sway, how is she pregnant? We're going to get to that. They are engaged, and R. Kelly sent her the engagement ring the day after he was sentenced to 30 years. She's planning on writing a book. She's living in one of R. Kelly's condos. Her next book, she's going to talk about family members she said that allegedly touched her. In this 11-page book, Love and Joy of Robert. She wants people to know their love. How is she pregnant? Is it Gal? Gal's is having sex in prison? There's so many questions. Are you having one of those like fake pregnancies where you think you're pregnant in your mind? I, I don't, I, I, it, it, I, I don't, it's one of the, huh? What? It's disturbing because I still want to get down to what, is she pregnant? How, how did she get pregnant? How? How sweaty? How, how does that happen? And are people going to get in trouble? <laughs> Has she been saying, I, this, you know what? Next story. Who do you think is the biggest streaming service? Is it Disney Plus or is it Netflix? It's it's Disney Plus. <laughs> I'm going to say Netflix. It's Disney Plus. And I think it's because Netflix raising prices. Netflix cracking down on the password sharing. You know they got tired of that. They said, uh-uh, all these people ain't paying for this service. I think with Disney Plus, when I tell people, because you really got to decide which streaming service you want to get. If you have kids, you get Disney Plus because it's stuff for adults and kids. It's like boom, boom. I think with Netflix, the raising of the prices, they said y'all ain't going to be out here sharing these passwords. But Disney Plus has more subscribers. I was trying to think of that word, subscribers, than Netflix. Tiffany Haddish, who is on the cover of Cosmopolitan Magazine, she was talking about, of course, her career, her comedy act, and she was talking about, she did this joke about Usher having herpes, and that Usher said it was okay and laughed about it. Herpes ain't funny. Does this mean he got it? I know he had to pay some women. And Tiffany talked about it in front of him? He said it was okay? Doesn't it seem strange? It just seems like, hmm, I don't get it. But he, she said that he was okay with it. Dr. Phil, he's coming back for season 21, but he's getting rid of some staffers. 25 staffers are being let go from the Dr. Phil show. They're calling it a cost-cutting move. But earlier this year, employees went forward and went public. What goes on behind the scenes of Dr. Phil? Verbal abuse, fear, racism, a toxic environment. He's coming back with season 21 in September. Winona Judd, she want to know where the money is. Winona and her mom, Naomi, became one of the most successful country music duos. Earlier this year, Naomi Judd died by suicide. The mother and daughter team took the music world, country music world, by storm. The Judds made a lot of money. Naomi, who had to go to rehab for not knowing what to do with her money, had $25 million left in her will. Winona was left out. Winona was probably like, am I not the other chut? 
I ain't got, you left me nothing? Winona's going to fight it. She thinks there's an, a monkey business going on, a funny business going on, and that the sister has something to do with it. All of the money in Naomi Judd's will was left to her husband. Her husband, who is not the father of Ashley or Winona. He's not their dad. They dad, somebody else. Winona is getting help from Travis Campbell. You're saying, Auntie, who is he? He is the son of the another country legend, Glenn Campbell. Travis says that when his dad died in 2017 at the age of 81, he too was cut out of the will by money-hungry step-parents. That's how he described them, money-hungry step-parents. Do you think this is the case with, with Winona? She mad. I guess she said, uh-uh, we done did. I done wrote all these songs. I ain't get no royalties. I didn't, uh, what? I'm the other child. <laughs> You're going to forget me. It's always a mess. This Sunday, I'm going to tell you about my real job. It's a radio job. Um, we're saluting the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, with a music show, Gone But Not Forgotten. iHeartRadio, y'all. Can y'all see? my? I move my head out the way. iHeartRadio, WDAS. We're located in Philadelphia. Also going to be doing a tribute to Lamont Doja, who was a Motown legend and a songwriting genius. And he wrote so many songs. And we got like a couple hours worth of just... Just Motown great. It's an oldie show that we do on Sunday night. The Wide Wonderful World of Butter and Lamont Dozier just wrote just so many great songs. And, and, if, and if you love great music, you'll want to be here. But we're going to do it on Sunday night. So Sunday is this huge music night where we just celebrate song. See, I had to remind people that I'm, a, I'm, I'm really a DJ. I'd be doing this for fun. I'm really a DJ. So when um, Charlie Wilson's wife and, and Uncle Charlie said, yeah, you got a YouTube channel. And I said, yeah, I said, but I be playing your music on the radio all the time. But it was funny when they brought, when they brought that up. A lot of strange stories. I could not wait to see your comments. And there is a weekend edition. It's fancy with pictures. So please check out the weekend edition. I have a young lady who works for me. LaShawna Simon, and she does an excellent job. So do check it out. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much for joining me. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Spread the word because the channel is growing. We're going to be at 60,000 real, real soon. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.